Hello everyone, welcome back to the third makeup tutorial voiceover. It's good to see you again. Thanks for being back. I hope you enjoyed my previous two videos. Again, if you have any feedback, please let me know. Here I am just going through my, my usual. You know what it is. Carmax on the lips, a little touch of skin mist, kills moisturizer. Spread it all over the face and then we move on to the next. Moving onward to the Burt's Bees eye cream, showing you guys the amounts I'm using in case you wonder, want to know how much I'm using. That's how much I'm using, about a pea size amount. And I tap it with my ring finger because it's the one that applies the least pressure, so it's going to be better for the skin, you know? Not pressing hard, being kind. Next, I'm going in with that Morphe concealer. Again, you guys were quarantined, ain't nobody going anywhere but La Sala, let's be real. Maybe a few occasional Walmart runs, um, you know, and Mercado runs if you need to get some like jitomates or something on the local. But other than that, estamos cuarenteados, dude. How are you guys doing with the whole cuarentena? Are you guys enjoying it? Are you guys sort of finding your routine? Are you still struggling with the routine? I know that I'm trying to incorporate uh, more of a routine in mind, so I feel you if you if you're not yet, but we're getting there, you guys. Um, here I'm just taking the Huda Beauty palette. I will link the colors below. Today's look is going to be a rosy look. So I really wanted to do something simple, keep it nice and just simple shadow and big lashes. Um, sometimes, you know, like if you want to go out to like a party or something and you don't want to like spend a lot of time on your shadow, you just want to look good and prepared, this is something for you. Or if you're new to eyeshadow, this is a really simple step you can follow and maybe find some lashes that you like. And trust me, it'll make you look like you have a whole look going on when it wasn't that much. So here I am using the Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Just using that dusty rose color to give a little bit more depth. But as you guys can see, it's a very simple process for this eyeshadow. All of the products will be linked below. But basically all I did was add a um, depth to my crease and apply a shimmer with my finger. And here I am with ABH Dream Glow Palette and applying this perfect little pink unicorn situation to the inner corner you guys this really tied the makeup look together it gave a little pizzazz to it it was amazing so again doing a simple shadow look for a day you want to go out or don't really want to do anything super crazy with your shadow just want something on there this is it super simple simple things can um put together can make an eyeshadow look look really good and really simple so so what i wanted to do here um yeah, so here we are just applying my favorite Dolly D Boutique lashes. I've been using them for the past two videos. They're amazing. I just, I love them. And quite frankly, right now it's, it's a little challenging to get some more lashes just because of the whole quarantine thing. But um, either way, I love these. So they're just great. So as you can see, and you will notice, now that I've applied the lashes, you can tell that I have a whole look going on without doing much of a look. So here we go, doing the Benefit Professional um, Primer. I forgot to do this step earlier, but it's okay guys, we're just gonna be here at the house. So boom, boom, boom. Also, I'm doing my makeup for La Sala and La Sala, how about that? Did you guys like that? Did you catch that? I hope you did. So here I'm just going in with some NC20 from the MAC foundation applying it with that same flat kabuki brush here we are you guys trying it with a different type of foundation and to be honest i really like the application it wasn't as great as the juvia's place i will be honest but it wasn't bad i think it was actually pretty good i really enjoyed it i really liked it especially when you keep buffing it in and working it in um it just gets better and better bring it down to the neck always you guys we don't want that linea right there bring it to the ears so they're not that pink Boom. Look, after you blend, mira como se ve. Wow. Next, going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I will link the colors below because I don't remember off the top of my head. And yeah, just, you know, doing the usual on high points of the face, highlighting what I want to highlight, making it nice and nice and highlighted. A little triangulito. There it is. Adding the whiskers. This is what I call the whiskers right there. Mira. Ooh, two long whiskers. 
So here I am just taking that same kabuki brush and I like to start in the whisker area first because there's less product there. I don't want it look, to look super white. So I'm just um, starting there first, my chin next on my forehead and then to my nose. Um, if you want to do this step, just make sure that you try to work as fast as possible um, because the tart shape tape does dry quick so it can leave like those harsh lines. Um, so just make sure that you are working quick. It's not impossible to remove, you're just going to have to buff a little more. Next, I'm taking my MAC NC25 powder and I'm just setting my concealer under my eyes and anywhere that I'd put concealer. I am applying it with a fluffy brush because I just want sort of like a light airbrush um, type of finish. I don't really want anything too bakey. And this has been my jam lately. It's really brightening, it's really setting, and it's just great stuff. All right, you guys, we're gonna get our sculpt tour going on. <laughs> If you watched the last video, you know you know what I mean by that word. But anyways, yeah, we're going to start sculpting the face using the same technique and the same brush as last time, just making sure I keep my brush angled and most of the product on the perimeters of my face and then slowly bringing that in to um, closer to my mouth. So as I mentioned in my past video, I've been doing this um, to give more of that shadowy effect, especially by my cheekbones, but um, throughout my face too. This is my favorite part of the makeup because I'm actually giving structure to my face. I have, you know, I have a round situation going on. It's all good. I've come to terms with it. It is what it is. But this stuff is amazing. This Sigma palette is great for powder contour. If you're looking for a good powder contour, look into this palette. It's great. So next, I'm going in with the MAC Give Me Sun. Um, this is my very first MAC Give Me Sun, you guys. Isn't that crazy? Uh, I was really excited to use it and I love it. I have been using it. So as you guys can see, I'm just bronzing up the face, bringing it slightly above um, the contour on my cheeks. Just running that by my lips, you know, trying to give a little plump situation. But do you guys see the difference of a contoured bronze face versus not? Like for me, it's my favorite part of the video. So next I'm just putting some of that Huda Beauty um, pink shadow on the under eyes. I don't really want anything too smoky. I'm essentially just tying in um, the top shadow with the bottom lid so it all comes together and next I'm applying some benefit um, their real lashes mascara this mascara is the jam my all-time favorite mascara um, if your lashes are long or they're not but they just go down they don't stay up get this mascara trust me it's amazing it's amazing um, but yeah just running that on my lower lashes to give a little bit of volume um, and tying it in with the whole upper lash moment here I am just deepening the under eye. I'm adding some of the Dusty Rose from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, but nothing too crazy. Um, it's time for some more sculpture moments. So here we go, just applying some of that ABH Dream palette on the high points of my face. These are my favorite areas. They're my go-to. Um, I really wanted to use this pink highlight because one, I'm not too used to using like a colored highlight. And two, just to give that whole like dusty uh, rose effect, you know, throughout the whole face. So here I am just using that House of Labs liner. And again, going over the Cupid's bow to give more of a pout. So essentially what I do is I tie the two pointy parts of my Cupid's bow together with a straight line. And that's what gives it the roundier pouty effect. Here I am taking the Pat McGrath um, lipstick. I left it in my car and it melted. If you know you know but this product is still amazing even though it's melted it kept its consistency and it worked really well it's just it's like a powdery type of lipstick it's just really good um, really pigmented so a little goes a long way and yeah just applied that over the lips and here I am putting Carmex over it because my lips are chapped and I also wanted to give a glossy effect so I put that on top and I like to take the gloss higher so that the light hits it in different areas and my lips still look pouty um, here I am using the Tatcha Skin Mist, taking off the clips, and guess what, you guys? We got a crease this time. Y'all see it? Look, I'm sad. And this is the final look, you guys. Despeinada, pero arreglada para estar en la sala. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your time. If you like this video, if you like this content, please make sure to give a like and subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video.